Guys, I've got something exciting for you today. Back in the day, I used to watch a lot of Top Gear, yeah? And I've been wanting to do one of these road trip challenges where I go to a chosen destination on one tank of fuel, and that's exactly what we're doing today. I am gonna go to Amsterdam in the M14 Ti on one tank of fuel. Is it possible? I don't know. So I've been doing a bit of calculations, yeah? And Amsterdam is about 350 miles away from here. I don't really know how much I can get out of a full tank on this car. I have read online that you can get up to 270 on a full tank. If 270 miles is all we're getting, then we're not going anywhere. We might as well just go back home. And if you're wondering why there's a random image of my brother on the screen right now, it's because I'd rather talk over random pictures than a blank screen. So, uh, yeah. I've also read, yeah, you don't expect anything more than 350 miles, which is kind of good news, but still, that is right on the edge. I don't really know if this is possible or if it's not, but, uh, we're gonna give it a go and see how it goes anyways. On this challenge, I'm not carrying any jerry cans with petrol in it. So if we run out of fuel, we run out of fuel. So already, yeah, this challenge is looking like a big task. And I don't wanna make it easy on myself as well. So I've added in five rules. And the rules include, I can't use eco mode in the UK. I have to cruise control for the rest of the M25 journey. So for the whole M25, I have to use cruise control. And uh, in the UK, I have to stay on the speed limit and don't go below it. Meaning, if the motorway says 70 miles per hour, yeah, I have to stay on 70 miles per hour. I can't go below it. And that is only in the UK. The next two rules are, I have to use the car like I normally would in the EU. Meaning, I can't not use the aircon because I'm the type of guy to use the aircon and put the window down because, you know, I like fresh air and I like the cool air blowing on me as well. So I have to use the car as I normally would as soon as I land in the EU and I have to stop at least two times as soon as I get to Calais. If you haven't noticed yet, yeah, these rules means I use petrol more. This is going to make it extra harder, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. So if we start the car up here, yeah, I'm on reserve fuel already uh wait wait till the service thing goes uh yeah 41 miles so i'm on reserve fuel right now i'm gonna go into the petrol station and uh fuel up i don't even know if they got fuel you know because on the way here yeah on the board it said six no fuels and in the, in my head i was like six no fuels what is six and then i realized it says services no fuels so we might be in, in trouble here because if I can't get fuel here, I don't even know where the next petrol station is. Okay, I've made it into the petrol station and I think there is fuel. There's people topping up everywhere. So I think we have got away. I just got to say, yeah, this video is supported by Revolut. Revolut is a financial super app for all things money when it comes to spending, saving and investing your money. Revolut are going to be a huge feature on this video as I will be using them to make all my transactions uh, in the UK and abroad. Let me just add on to that you guys know the drill by now you can now click my link and get yourself a 20 pounds welcome bonus when you sign up and uh man like they've been supporting this channel a lot recently so big up to them and um you know without them these challenges would not be possible revolut I appreciate you guys for you know supporting this channel like always man but yeah let's go get fuel and uh leave because my ferry is gonna be leaving in a bit and i do not want to miss my ferry oh. V power. Okay, we've got fuel. And this pump does not seem to be great either. Very slow. Is it me yeah, or sometimes when you're filling up, you've got to like take the nozzle out just to check that fuel is coming out because the pressure on this one is proper low. This is how you get, so you take it out, put it back in. Keep putting it back in and out, in and out. I need to get as much fuel as I can into the car. hundred pounds for an M140i. I literally filled this car up to the brim, literally rimmed it. Okay, that came out wrong. 
but uh, yeah, let me go pay for it. But 100 quid, are you stupid? One thing I really love about Revolut is that you get instant payment notifications. So uh, when you spend your money using the Revolut card, yeah, you get instant payment notifications sent to your phone, which makes it very easy to keep a track of your spendings. And this is essential when I'm on a trip like this. Like if I'm abroad or if I'm out and about, last thing I want is to be spending without knowing how much I'm spending. And the fact that you get instant payment notifications from Revolut is a game changer. Look how much it says. 384 miles on a full tank. That means I could get to Amsterdam perfectly. But uh, yeah, remember we do have the challenges that we do have to implement and uh, it starts now. I'm literally on M25 and I'm also in the UK, meaning I can't drop below the speed limit and I have to stay on cruise control the whole entirety of the M25. Yeah, cruise control, 70 miles an hour, not dropping below the speed limit, not on eco mode either. Okay, already the needle was, the, the digit has dropped. It's gone down to 383 and I'm pretty sure that wasn't a mile. So um, yeah boys, this is gonna be interesting to say the least. From Cobham service stations to Dover, it's about 90 miles. So um, yeah, I'm trying to get like, most of the challenges done in the 90 mile so that that last stretch from Calais to Amsterdam is way easier. And um, yeah, man, we've got about 74 miles left. Uh, expected to arrive around 8.45. My ferry's at 9.15. Cutting it close here, but you know, you know what I mean. I'm always late for everything. I, I really need to stop that. What in the world is going on? It's gone back up again, 3.84, which is good news. And I've maintained it for like, oh, it's gone back down again. Spoke too soon. I need to actually think about saving fuel here. And uh, you know what? I take the aircon for granted. And if I want to save fuel, I'm going to have to think of ways to um, not use the aircon and improve airflow and everything. And I saw this video online, yeah. To cool the car, you got to put down the windows diagonally. So if I put this, my, the driver's side window down, I've got to put that side window down at the back so the air comes in and goes. If that makes sense. So I think that's what I'm about to do. But let me try that out. Oh gosh. It actually works. It is much cooler, but it's too windy, man. It's too windy. I can't do it. I actually can't do it. A bit of an update for you so uh we're coming to the end of the m25 to head on to the m26 meaning i could finally come off cruise control and as you can see the fuel count gauge thing has gone up it's on 391 meaning we're comfortable in the challenge right now we should be able to make it to uh, Amsterdam without any problems. Maybe I've bagged a stingy M140i and I'd like to stay with petrol. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we've got about uh, an hour left to go to Dover. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I could finally take this car out of cruise control when I'm off the M25. And uh, yeah, but I still have to, I still have to uh, keep above uh, the speed limit, or I mean, stay on the speed limit. And uh, maybe I gave it away there. And um, I also can't put the car into eco mode. So uh, yeah, we're doing good actually, we're doing quite well. Dover, we have got, as you can see, 425 miles left on the clock of fuel, and uh, yeah, uh, I didn't expect to have 425 miles actually, um, but uh, yeah, let me get checked in, let me go get near the ferry, maybe even board the ferry and I'll check in with you guys after that, but uh, yeah, looks like we're on time, we're not going to miss anything, and uh, yeah man. I'm not sure how this ferry trip's gonna go though. I feel like I'm gonna feel very sick. It looks like we're boarding already. 
Um, I think we got here just in time. I've lost about 10 miles in the space of like half a mile because of all that start and stopping. It's actually the first time I'm actually getting into a ferry uh, since I was a kid. I don't know what to expect, but I probably am gonna be throwing up. Wait, I'm trying to get this thing that just dropped me my seat. You know when you have to stick your finger in the seat, yep, um, and then you drop it again. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Hopefully I'm not sick. I'm not looking forward to this. It just gives me Titanic vibes. And it will definitely be me as well who just drowns right to the bottom because I can't stay on the plank. There's a car in my slim pad. I don't really know what to do right now. I think there's like shops and everything inside. So I might head over in there. But uh, I might even just stay in the car, you know. I honestly can't be asked to move. Okay, I left the car, yeah, to try and explore. But now I can't get back into the car because the gates are locked. Either way, I'm gonna get some food actually whilst I'm out here. Get one of these. I might actually get one of these bacon rolls. Obviously, I have to pick a red bull out. That's all I need to be A drink, a sandwich, crisp, and I'm done. What even is this? Insert my card. Revolut. Pause the video right there. This is another benefit that Revolut offer, and that is you get up to 30% off your favorite restaurants and up to 40% off your favorite brands, and the cash back gets sent straight to your account. So if you're like me that likes eating out a lot and just shopping in general, then this benefit will be ideal for you. So make sure you get these benefits by signing up to Revolut by using my link, and as well as that, you get a £20 welcome bonus when you sign up. I'm not gonna show you the pin. I can't believe I just paid seven pounds something for all that. I'd like to apologize to Chico for exposing him like this, but moving on, this is where my thought process is at. So I've got about 240 miles from Calais to Amsterdam and about 420 miles in the tank left, meaning I could get back to Dover in that one single tank. So you know what? Let's actually see if this is possible. <laughs> Yeah, we've got about 200 miles now to get to Amsterdam and uh, yeah, you do the math man. We're going to get to Amsterdam quite comfortably. I've still got to make two more stops. I've been wanting to stop actually since getting off the ferry, but there's literally been no service stations. So I'm just waiting for that. But other than that, I think we're going to get to Amsterdam quite comfortably. Uh, if anything, like I said, we might even be able to get back home on this one tank. I really need a piss, I really need a piss, I really need a piss. Uh, so what's been going on here is I've been trying to look for the perfect service station, but I just keep driving past them because I don't, I don't like the look of them so far. 
and um, it's got to the point where I haven't stopped since getting off the ferry and I need the biggest piss. I've got something interesting by the way, we might actually change the idea of this video and actually try getting back home on one tank because uh, I still haven't hit halfway on the tank yet and I genuinely think we can get back home on one tank. Okay, listen, like I said, we're actually, I even hate wasps. Oh no, 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 not a wasp, man. Not anything but a wasp. Oh, oh piss off, wasp. I flipping hate wasps, man. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a wasp. Okay, is the wasp finished attacking me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're changing the video idea. We're actually going to try get back home um, on the one tank of fuel. So we're going to scrap all the rules that are set in the beginning and now we're going to go into fuel saving mode and try get home on the tank that I filled up earlier. I've already wasted fuel uh, by doing the tasks or challenges that I set at the beginning. So I've already just made it harder for myself, proper harder for myself. Hoping we, when we get to Amsterdam, we'll have half, a fuel, half of the fuel left exactly. And uh, yeah, <sighs> hopefully we could get back to England at least on the one tank of fuel that we filled up. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, this service station is probably one of the weirdest service stations I've been to. Imagine all that time I've been looking for the best service station and I end up at this one. I've done some quick calculations, yeah, and for you numbers, people, we've got about 91 miles left till we get to Amsterdam, and from Amsterdam to Dover, it's about 240 miles and in the tank we've got about 330 miles I want to say so it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze but I think we've got it uh, whether we're gonna actually make it or not I don't know because it depends on how much we stop and go and obviously in the city there's gonna be a lot of stop and go so uh, yeah uh, this I don't know how it's gonna end but um, yeah this is what we're gonna do and we're actually gonna full send it imagine I just checked here yeah, and that stop that we just took took away 20 miles on the fuel gauge thing 20 miles i was on like 333 yeah or 330 now i'm on 310 how has that stopped taking away 20 miles i'm gonna have to find a way to make that back up because there is no way we're making it back to dover on just 310 miles left in the tank no way <laughs> This is not good on our return. Look, that is how much we've got left. Getting back to Dover, looking like this, is looking like a mission so far, man. I don't even know if we can make it. Actually taking the wrong turn this is exactly what I dreaded I did not want to do this because now I have to rejoin back onto the motorway I've literally stopped at the traffic light as well meaning I would have probably lost petrol this is exactly what I didn't want what is going on here 
Okay, okay, I want you guys to pay attention to this guy pointing me in the wrong direction. At this point, I'm looking for the car park here. Yeah? And what does this guy do? Point me in the wrong direction. And I get lost in the city of Amsterdam, which means I am losing valuable petrol right now. So, uh, yeah, I literally spent my time looking for this car park when I was literally going the right way. Oh, my days. I, I honestly can't believe it. Oh, enjoy me getting lost in the city. so pissed off because I was basically circling the whole city yeah for like an extra 25 minutes just because I couldn't find the car park and the main reason I couldn't find the car park is because the worker that's at the, the working site yeah pointed me in the wrong direction I was literally going to the car park and I just got pointed the wrong way and I was literally circling around for no reason and I probably lost a lot of fuel parked up though here uh, let me show you what the fuel situation is saying bang yep 189 miles hopefully we can uh, increase that tomorrow when i drive back by driving very slow and probably not stopping at all but right now it's looking very unlikely that we're going to get back home on this one tank of fuel i'm literally going to go to the hotel and i get checked in because i am busting for a wee already and uh yeah i'll catch you guys from up there Okay. I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't place the camera here, leave the room and come back in again. Like this is new to me, but this is the room. Look at the toilet. I actually like the toilet, but uh, the room is nice as well, man. I'm tired, man. I need to have a shower first. So I'm gonna go do all that. That was a long drive, I'm not gonna lie. It's just hit me now. If I have to expose Chica, then I have to expose Ace. This is when he was sedated and he had the tongue sticking out his mouth. I, I didn't even know what's happening. But anyways, uh, yeah, last night I was, uh, I went to get food and I literally came back to the hotel and I knocked out. So that is where we're carrying on from now. Okay, where are we at? Okay, last night I got in, I knocked out straight away. I went out, got some food, got back in and knocked out, man. I was so tired. But um, yeah, we've got a big day today. We've got to try and get home on however much we've got left in the tank. The plan is to uh, drive at like 60 miles per hour. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what that is uh, in kilometers. But um, yeah, somehow we've got to find a way to get back to, to Dover at least in that one tank. So uh, right now, uh, my only hope is to uh, drive as slow as possible and to take no stops. So I've got to drive four hours straight to Calais and hopefully we've got some fuel left in the tank to get us across to Dover. I also have to mention how easy it's been to use Revolut in a packed city like Amsterdam. As Amsterdam is so busy, yeah, if I were to lose his card, I can easily freeze and unfreeze his card using the app. And as well as that, you can personalize his metal card to make it unique to you in various different ways. And on top of that, the Revolut app is so easy to use. So if you guys are interested, click my link and get yourself a 20 pounds welcome bonus when you sign up. And like I said, man, Revolut support this channel big time. So please go down and support them to make more trips like this possible. And yeah, man, all in all, Revolut is probably like the best place for all things money. my hotel yeah and the parking is right there pretty sick location easy for me to park the car and get out of okay i'm not sure how well you can see me but we're ready to leave amsterdam man i'm actually kind of sad because i actually like the city okay what way is the exit because this car park is a bit of a maze I can't understand Park Heron and Utrecht. Utrecht. Where 
What is, I don't know what that is. You, what, what is Park Heron and you to rip? What are you trying to, ah. Uh, I think it's this way. You to rip sounds a bit like exit, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, right, right. I should, should become a Dutch professor. Fuck, I'm in the bus lane. I'm in the fucking bus lane. I fucked it. I'm gonna get a ticket. <laughs> This year is getting very close. Look, we've got 156 miles left and we've got about 164 miles in the tank. Okay, um, I had to take a break, man. I literally had to take a break and actually change my top because of how hot it is. The black t-shirt was literally absorbing all the heat. But yeah, I had to stop over, change my top. And uh, this is not doing any favors for my uh, challenge because if anything, it's just gonna burn more petrol and uh, make me lose more fuel. But I had to do it, man. I'm not sure if we are gonna make it to Dover. And if we do make it to Dover, we're probably gonna make it with basically no petrol left in the tank at all. But um, yeah, looking back on it, man, I should have saved more petrol in various different ways. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Car still looking fresh. I just want to eat my donut to be fair. Ugh. Look at that. That looks a bit melted, but it's got Kit Kat and Lotus. The Lotus one, I tried it for the first time. Mm. Still got about an hour and 30 minutes on this journey. So uh, yeah, strap on, let's, uh, let's keep going. This is the current situation, yeah? Everyone, like literally everyone is overtaking. Cars are zooming past. And now they're cruising at this speed. Stuck behind that lorry or a little van thing in front of me. This is how slow I'm having to go, yeah? In order to save all the fuel I can. But yeah, we've got about 128 miles left in the tank about 80 miles left to drive. Take a look at the fuel gauge. We are right on the end of the reserve. And uh, yeah, I'm closing in on Calais right now. And uh, the next bit is not gonna be good because it's gonna be a lot of stopping and going, stopping and going. But um, yeah, reserve fuel, I've done well, you know, considering we was way below uh, the fuel gauge level thing. I had more miles left than I had fuel somehow managed to reel it back in because I've been going so slow. I'm never ever gonna go this slow ever again. Just got to the the Calais port yeah and look what I see. Fuel reserve. And the worst thing is I am lost so I am so lost right now. I don't even know where I'm going. I was literally faffing about in the car uh because I was getting lost yeah and I accidentally put the car into sport mode. I think you would have seen it uh in the previous clip I just put in Goodness, I'm on fuel reserve yeah, and I put the car into sport. What kind of what kind of stupid person am I? As you can see, we're at the Calais port right now. Uh yeah. Let's see what the fuel gauge is saying. Oh, fuel reserve already and 37 miles on the clock. We've got 37 miles left in the tank, and that should be enough for us to get over to Dover, but that's about it. There's no way we're probably making it back to Cobham service stations where we started. I would have loved to actually get back to Cobham service stations, but uh, I reckon if we didn't mess up by, uh, you know, doing all the tasks that I did at the start, as well as, you know, uh, getting lost in Amsterdam, we might have been able to do it, but 
to be able to do that in just one tank of fuel is actually quite crazy in an M140i. But wow, what a trip it's been. I've honestly enjoyed myself this time and uh, like I said, it would not be possible without Revolut. Remember guys, if you guys are interested in Revolut, click my link and get yourself a 20 pounds welcome bonus when you sign up. But uh, yeah, other than that, I think the only thing we've got left to do is get to Dover and um, yeah, we could com successfully complete this challenge. Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now. These cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D. D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and doing me, bro? Making noise, use a beat. We're just pulling into Dover Port now. Um, cars around me uh, look look what the first thing that comes up when I start the car or when I just turn it on fuel reserve that is not good so yeah as you can see we're literally parking up uh, at the port I'm probably gonna be so dark right now uh, hopefully this makes it work yeah so um yeah, I think we have officially made it into the UK with uh, 37 miles left in the tank. I just got to find um, a petrol station nearby so I can fill up. Otherwise, I'm just going to be stranded in the middle of the road. This picture literally is how the fuel tank was staring at me. I was running out of fuel quick and I could not find a petrol station. So I was going to be in big trouble soon if I didn't find one ASAP. I may have fucked up. Listen, I've only got 26 miles of uh, petrol left and I can't find any petrol stations. And uh, the shell that I just went to is closed. And uh, I'm going to Tesco petrol station right now. But I don't know if they are open or not. Oh no, 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 no. This, this could end quite badly. This could actually end quite badly. Luckily, yeah, the Tesco petrol station was actually nearby and uh, I managed to get there on time before I did run out of any fuel. Okay, so that is it for this video. We have successfully complete the challenge, just about. Yeah, we're here now. I filled up and uh, yeah, it's actually, it actually feels nice to say that we completed our first ever road trip challenge. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it. If there's any other destinations you want me to try with one tank of fuel, then let me know. I'll bring that out for you guys, like always. And uh, yeah, man, uh, what, what a challenge it's been. I honestly thought we wouldn't even make it to Amsterdam, but we made it to Amsterdam in just half a tank of fuel. And then to try and make it back into the UK with the rest of the fuel was crazy, but we just about done it. And uh, yeah, man, uh, love to everyone that always supports me in every single video. I am so tired right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna drive back home, like a two hour drive from here now. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the video as always. And I'll see you in my next one. Bro, whoa, whoa. I press the button.